guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing another long-awaited shop review video. In case you guys haven't seen this series before, I basically just take submissions of my subscribers' Redbubble shops and then pick at random a few to review on screen for you guys and just look over their shops and see what they're doing really well, if there's anything that they could improve on. And generally, I think it's great for anyone to watch these videos even if their shops aren't being reviewed because a lot of things that I've noticed and pointed out on one shop, for example, a lot of people have actually said that they were doing the same mistakes and hadn't even realized it. So it kind of helps point out any areas for improvement, not just for the people in the video, but also for your Redbubble shop. And for those of you that weren't selected for this shop review, don't worry, I'm still doing tons more, so you'll always have an opportunity to enter and potentially be featured as a shop that's being reviewed. So just keep submitting your shops and maybe one day you'll see it in one of these videos. If you want to know the next time that I post a community post for submitting your shops, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you get the submission post right on your feed. Or if you're just generally interested in improving your Redbubble store or increasing your sales, I still have lots of videos and tips coming out for that, so feel free to subscribe. And in case you guys didn't see my last video, I have partnered up with Redbubble for them to give me a 15% off discount of my entire shop. So if you guys have been thinking of buying anything from my shop, Definitely now is the best time because you get 15% off anything you buy. Just make sure you use the 15% off promo code at checkout and I will link that promo code down in the description bar below. But yeah, might as well save some money if you were thinking of buying something from me anyways. All right, but now let's get into the first shop. All right, so I have my first shop here and as always I'm going in blind so I've never seen these shops before. Um, so this will be my first reaction on camera. First shop is by Manya Malhotra and they joined July 2020, so a fairly new artist. Um, congrats on starting your store. You already have 41 designs, which is pretty good because it's been like, what, a month, maybe two months max since you got on here. So yeah, that shows that you're dedicated. And right off the bat, you have collections at the top. I like that you're trying both photography niche, text niche, um, patterns, so a bit of everything, which is great at the start for sure. You have a COVID sticker here, so that's definitely on trend. I'm not sure if it's still quite as trendy as it was obviously at the beginning, but uh, I'd be interested to hear how that's doing for people that are in that niche. And then some patterns, looks nice. Some photography that looks really nice. Um, oh, this cookie sticker is cool. Leaves pattern poster, that one's cool. Let's go into that one do a little bit more digging. All right, so this poster looks really good on, or this pattern looks really good on this poster. Um, you have a description, which is great. And then just looking at your tags here. Uh, it looks like you have a lot of good tags and you kind of go into like the vibe of the photo, what it is, summer, fun. Foliage, beautiful, calming. Yes, yeah, so you have a really wide range of product tags, which is great. I don't see why this one wouldn't sell. Um, obviously, you're still new, so maybe it hasn't been really exposed that much to Redbubble, but it looks like it's a great product, and you have it enabled on lots of products, so that's good too. Yeah, your store looks really good. Um, obviously, you're at the beginning, so you don't have that many designs yet, so just keep posting, but there's definitely a lot of cool designs that I could see selling well on different types of items, not just one type of item. All right, our next store, we have Lee Kovacs, and they have 87 designs. I'm not sure when they started, but, but right off the bat, I can tell this is like a nature kind of photography account, which I love, obviously, because that's kind of what my account is about, too. And wow, these photographs are amazing. Yeah, you're a really good photographer. Wow, just literally like all of them are so professional looking and the editing on all of them is perfect. These are all so good, I can't get over them. <laughs> oh, and you have illustrations, which is cool. I feel like that fits right into the niche as well with the nature theme. Yeah, I like both your illustrations and your photography. Um, I'm gonna go into this one here, Mount Rainier. I love that picture with the cloud and the mountain in the background. So that's good, you have a description here. Uh, maybe you could add a bit more keywords in the, in the description apart from just uh, kind of like the name of the place and clouds because that's already in your title. 
So maybe something else that might attract different types of people to your artwork. So product tags, let's see what we have here. Yeah, those look really good. Um, I'm wondering if there's like any more tags you could do with like what's going on in the image. Maybe sky or, yeah, I guess that's kind of like the only one really. But yeah, maybe like sky or something would be good to add in there. And then it's nice that you have like the cottage, cottage core, like that kind of niche because they would probably like that. Um, maybe you could do like hiking, stuff like that. But overall you have a lot of variety in your tags as well. So I mean, it looks good, but just those are like little, little tags that I thought would be applicable to this one. And you have available on 77 products, which is pretty good, but you are missing a few. So maybe go back and check in which ones you're missing and enable them if it looks good on it. But I don't see why not, because this looks like it would look good on everything. But yeah, overall, I love this store. Um, I think it looks super professional. I'm really curious to know how it's doing and if they get sales because I feel like this is a store that looks like it's like ready for the front page. Like I feel like I've seen images like this on the front page of Redbubble. So I think uh, if you haven't gotten sales yet, you definitely will soon. Okay, so the next store we have is Eva Martinelli and great cover photo. Wait, did the last one have a cover photo? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, so this last one too, it's nice that they kind of explained what type of artist they were right in their cover photo. But anyways, back to this store. Yeah, right off the bat, you can tell it's um, like illustrations, which is great. I love them already. Um, lots of collections here. Oh, I love this Cat Lovers Club one and the strawberry. Oh my gosh, I wish I saw this one last time when I was buying stickers, but I'll keep it in mind for the next one. Yeah, these all look really professional and great. Another new artist, so from June 2020. It's honestly amazing how many new artists I see when I do these reviews and how many designs they already have and how professional their stores look because I feel like at the beginning, mine definitely didn't look as professional as these ones, so good job to you guys. All right, I'm just gonna go into a random one here and see what the tagging situation looks like and all that. So obviously this store is like advertising everything on its stickers, but I would recommend even advertising things on either like the optimized product, I'm not sure if that's what you're doing, or on other things because I feel like a lot of these things look good on phone cases or water bottles um, or even blankets if you repeated the pattern for some of them. Because obviously like stickers are the cheapest item with the smallest margin, so that's just something to keep in mind that maybe if you want to kind of advertise products that have a higher margin, that wouldn't be bad to try for some of them. Yeah, so here it is on other products and looks really good. It's available on 76 products, so a few of them are missing. Um, go back and check what those might be because you might be losing out on sales. Oh, that's great that you have your name in the tags here so that people can find you from searching. And a lot of variety in the tags as well, so those look really good. I really don't have much to say in terms of things that they can improve uh, because everything looks really good. So keep putting out artwork and you'll definitely get sales. All right, so next we have the Trendin store. And a daily dose of trending streetwear. So that's also nice. It really brands the store and it looks super professional as a banner. So yeah, you guys are really on top of things. Um, joined August 2020, so this is the newest store that I've seen yet and they have five designs so obviously like they could have joined yesterday for all I know like it doesn't say when in August they joined but hey you know they got their five designs out that's the minimum right now if you want your store to become live I actually talked about that in the video I just posted last week so I'll link that if you guys want to watch how to start your store and the steps that it takes but yeah at least they got those out there so um, you know from now on they can obviously upload more but let's see what they have for their first five products. They have a currently on sleep mode, that's funny. A dump him shirt. Today's mood is sponsored by vodka. And then some images. Yeah, so it's, it's a nice variety of stuff. Um, definitely I think they're going for like the t-shirt market with quotes and stuff like that, which is always a good one to try out. Um, I'll just go to the sleep mode one first. 
All right, so their description here, we have sure to be one of your favorite teas. Our currently on sleep mode apparels are forever stunner. Blending art and fashion, our unique wardrobe selections are one of a kind. Click the add to cart button below. So I like it. Um, I've never seen the click add to cart button below as like a call to action in a description, but I'm curious to see if it works because sometimes people might just need you know that extra push to buy the item. So it's not a bad idea. Maybe not in caps, because I feel like that might be like a little too forward, but I feel like having it in there isn't a bad thing to try out. So we have this one on 57 products, and this one I can kind of see how it wouldn't fit on every product, because, I don't know, I feel like it wouldn't look good on like maybe like a wall tapestry and stuff like that, but it still fits quite a few products, so that's good. I feel like a mug would look good with this one. Let's see if they have a mug that like makes sense like coffee and stuff like you're on sleep mode until you finish it I don't know <laughs> yeah and like obviously like a bed would be funny with it but yes yeah, so they do have it on a mug although unfortunately it doesn't fit the best so I'm not sure if they can kind of change that because I feel like this would be a good product for it but I mean they're still new so good for them for actually getting their designs up there there's lots of time to improve all this other stuff um, let's see the product tags sleep sleepy tired lazy gang lazy day yeah I feel like those are good I definitely feel like you can add a few more um, tags not sure exactly what they could be off the top of my head but you have a little room there so if you can think of anything else or even use like a tag generator um, definitely maybe add a couple more in there but overall for your first couple of designs they look really good so good luck with your new store all right, so next we have Particulart, which is like a fun play on words. They are also fairly new. Oh my gosh, this is actually crazy, like how many new people are on here and starting Redbubble, which I think that's so great. Um, let's just explore their artist profile. Yeah, I'm just honestly like amazed how many of these shops are new and also have like everything set up already like they actually took it seriously to make sure they have their banner you know their about me section filled out and all that all right so this store is kind of like doing text work but also some photography some patterns graphic design so a little bit of everything okay so i'm just gonna click on a random design um let's do this cat and dog all right so the title is animals love so I would actually personally include cat and dog in the title because that's a big search term that you might be missing out on um, because that's what the picture is all about. So yeah, I might uh, edit that to include the cat and dog in it, but other than that, the image looks really good. It's available on 81 products, so I think that's almost all of them. Check to see what you're missing because I think this would look good on everything. Product tags. This one I think just maybe got messed up with like autocorrect or something. I think it's meant to say relationship. So maybe just go ahead and change that because you won't be coming up in those searches unfortunately. But everything else looks good. You have a lot of different tags so that's good. Maybe like you could do like cat lover, dog lover, something like that. But you have animal lover in there so that's good. Overall that looks really good for tags. Yeah, so that store looks good as well. Just a few minor tweaks to maybe the title and the tags, but other than that, it looks really good, especially for a new artist. Okay, so this next one is called Cute Food Prints. You guys already know I'm probably gonna love this one because I love anything that has to do with cute food, like art, uh, so. I actually noticed that this time around, a lot of these stores have like really good branding around their banner, so not only do they have like a background image but they also have like a slogan and their store name in there so I think that's really smart because it generally makes you feel like you're kind of leaving Redbubble and going to an actual independent store of someone's so that's pretty cool and I think it gives the buyer like a full experience um, you know of that artist so another person that joined in August 2020 I think this one should be called like the new artist shop review or something because you guys are all like Fairly new to Redbubble, which is great, and 54 designs already. That's amazing, because even if you started on the first, that's still a lot of designs right off the bat. Oh, I love how the collections are divided by different types of food. That's pretty cool. So these all look really cute. Yep. 
ice cream, peach, pineapples, avocados. Oh, let's hear about me. Got bored during quarantine and decided to do cute food art instead of eating all the food in my house. That's cute. Oh, and they even do custom work if you send them an email if they want. If you want any specific food combination that's not available. So that's pretty cool and gives you know a little more option to the store. So I'm just gonna go into one of the prints. Let's go into the avocado couple. So you have avocado couple as the title. I think that's good. Uh, maybe just do like cute avocado couple or avocado couple in love or something like that. Just to get a couple more keywords in there. All right, the tags, let's see here. Avocado couple anniversary, Valentine's love together, food, foodie. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones here. Uh, no tags, just drawing. I'm not sure if those really work. I don't know, I don't know if people would search that, but why not try, I guess? Um, let's see. Yeah, you could say like fruit, but I don't know. Other than that, I think you have all the bases covered for the tags, so you probably just need traffic to your store and you're good to go. Let's see how many products. Okay, you have on a lot of products, that's good. I think it would look good on a lot of products, but people probably buy it mostly on like stickers or shirts and stuff for maybe their significant other really good and everything else looks really cute so just keep going keep uploading and I think you'll also have a successful shop so those are all the shops I had for today thank you again so much you guys for submitting all of your shops and putting yourselves out there I honestly love looking at every shop and I'm always pleasantly surprised with every shop that comes my way that I get a chance to look at because even though they're all so different from each other, you can tell that every artist is putting their best foot forward and it really shows the shops always look super professional and especially for beginners because sometimes, you know, you don't know what you're doing at the beginning. I know I didn't, so they look really good. You guys are off to a great start and if you keep it consistent, I'm sure you'll get sales. If you watch this video and are curious how you can improve your own store, I do have a lot more tips and tricks in this playlist. I can never remember what side it's on, but you can check that out and learn a lot more about tags, how to upload images, um, how to take images for Redbubble if you're not necessarily a graphic designer, so feel free to check that out. But other than that, I don't really have much else for today. As always, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching my reviews and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more print-on-demand content from myself. I'm starting to want to make some videos about other print-on-demand sites as well, so let me know in the comments below which one you think I should do a video on about next. Obviously, there's so many out there and I've only tried a few other ones, so let me know which ones you guys want to see and I'll look into them and start my own shops on them so I can let you guys know what I think and what there is to know about them. But thanks for watching once again and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!